Alrighty, in this video I want to cover the use of dead zone. So this is going to require a little bit more work, but it's still very straightforward. So to start, we're just going to go ahead and enable dead zone and leave everything else the same. So starting with the initial result, you will see that we have nothing changed. And the reason for that is we need to call a function that is used when we apply our mouse input in order to actually use it. And that's on the shooter pawn component. So if I head over to our where we have our mouse input here for where we add yaw and pitch, I can grab off the shooter pawn and just search for mouse and you'll see set mouse input. Now what we're gonna pass in is going to be the X and the Y. So X would be turn and Y would be yaw, or sorry, X would be turn and Y would be look up. So now that we have those plugged in, you can see now we have Dead zone. So we have an incorrect axis here, so we're going to need to do a little bit of tweaking. But you can see the fire moves around freely. So just going through, let's go ahead and discuss the settings. So the pitch rate. That is basically, well, you can see by did I put a comment? Okay, I need to go and do that. Basically, the rates are how fast it'll go up and down. So in order to express this, I'm going to first do the limit. So this is the limit of how far it'll actually go. So if I were to triple these, so we'll do 15 and 30, you'll see that the firearm can move quite a ways over. So he has a big range. So with the amount that I'm rotating my mouse, this is how far it'll go left and right. And if I want to make it go faster, I just increase the rate. So that was the yaw, so left and right. We're going to go to 0 0.6 to 2. And this will greatly speed up how fast it goes. So you can see I have to move my mouse much less for the firearm to go to the same point. So that's what the rate does. It kind of works a little bit in conjunction with the yaw. So you can kind of tune how far you want and how fast you want to get there. In my opinion, the defaults are a pretty good starting point. It's not soup a bunch and it's also not a very little amount it's just kind of a in my opinion a good balance to either increase or decrease from moving down we have the interpolation speed and this is how fast it will actually interpolate and kind of basically help smooth itself out so lower is slower and smoother interpolation faster is more snappy and aggressive uh i guess you'd say comparing it to like daisy to something like modern warfare you have a more casual slower sluggish game you're going to want a lower value if you have a more fast-paced competitive game you're going to want a higher value moving down we have disabled dead zone while aiming so the way to express this is here you can see actually let me increase the uh the limit here for the yaw we'll do yeah we'll do the double the value again so here you can see as I move to the right, you can see the firearms way off to the right, and I'm still able to aim, but the firearms still pointing right. So let's say I want to make it to where it only affects it when I am not aiming. So here's the firearms off to the right. I go to aim, and it aims back to the center. So when I aim, it goes right back to the center of the screen. Likewise, I can move it around and all that kind of stuff. It's just going to bring it back. So that is something you can play with, and likewise, we have the speed at which this will happen. So if I bump this down to 2, we'll get the same result, but you can see it takes a longer time for it to actually get there and come back to center. So, again, depending on the style of game you're going for, it's going to kind of dictate the result you want to get, So, or the settings you want to choose. So if you want dead zone enable it tweak the settings you don't want it just leave it disabled there's nothing more you really have to do and just find and tweak to find whatever well result you want so after this we will be covering recoil so i will see you then